What's up guys, hope you're having a good day. Uh, so our buddy French Montana dropped off his new album today. They got amnesia. And in this video, I wanna do a sales prediction, a sales projection on what I think it's gonna sell in the first week. Um, <clears throat> so it's so weird. So as some of you know, you know, the hardcore French Montana fans, I don't know how many of those there are. I used to be a really big fan of French Montana when Pop That came out. But ever since then, he's been on like a downward career trajectory. Like I think his quality is severely falling off and he just hasn't been able to recreate the magic of that hit. I mean, I know we had Unforgettable with Sway Lee, but um, to me, I, I didn't like that song that much. I mean, I know it's a huge hit, so, but I mean, it just wasn't for me. Pop that, love it. Um, but he dropped off that mixtape last year, I think it was, like 2020, yeah. <clears throat> And somehow, I didn't think that was gonna sell very well, but somehow he ended up selling like 19,000 copies in the first week or something. And then I looked back at uh, his Montana album, which was the last album he dropped on Bad Boy. They came out 2019, I think 2019. And that one sold 25K. So his last one was independent. That one was major label. How did it only sell 6K less? Cause like, like I said, I don't think Fritz Montana really has fans like that so that led me to kind of assume that uh he's manipulating the streaming number somehow because literally i don't meet anybody and, and listen this is no knock on fitch montana like i said i used to be a big i used to be the only fan that i knew like actually i mean i, I fucked with this shit heavy but you just don't see anyone else that really fucks with fitch montana like that like you gotta tell me if you're a fitch montana fan do you meet a lot of other French Montana fans? Cause I, I, I honestly don't, like I'm just being real. So it's like, where are these, all these numbers coming from? Like, I really don't understand it. So he's gotta be manipulating the streaming numbers somehow. Um, and he's got a huge, a bunch of guest appearances on this new album. They got amnesia. I mean, he was supposed to have Drake, I guess, from what I understand, Drake asked him not to put the song out because um, of the recent Astroworld tragedy. So I guess he didn't think like it was an appropriate time for him to release new music right now. So supposedly I read an article that that song's gonna be on the deluxe version, but even without Drake, he's got a bunch of huge people. He's got Doja Cat, he's got um, Moneybag Yo, just a who's who of the industry. I mean, it was like 15 different features I saw on there. Um, so we'll see how, it, in terms of like the projection, the prediction, I mean, like I, like I mentioned earlier, you got you got Montana, which was a major label release. That sold 25K in the first week. And they literally pulled out all the stops for that album. They even put out old hits, um, like that song he had with Kodak Black. I uh, can't think of the name of it right now, but you know what I'm talking about with Kodak Black. They even put that on there, and that had originally come out in 2016, like three years prior. That came out before his Jungle Rules album came out. So they tacked that on to Montana, in order to still certify it. Because even though old songs don't count towards the album sales, they do count for certification. So they tacked on like two or three old ass songs. Uh, I think No no Shopping or No Stylist or something like that. That was a old ass song, they put that on there. And ended up getting certified gold, even though it only sold, sold 25K in the first week. So if you wanna play that game, I mean, that's fine. It is his song. I don't seem to wrong with it personally, but my point is they are pulling out all the stops so what are they going to do with this one it remains to be seen but i i do think it's going to sell something tells me man he's going to find a way to push this thing up over 30k and i don't know how he's going to do it but i think he's going to probably go up over 30 he's i don't think he's definitely not going under 25 i, I think it's going to sell at least what uh montana sold in 2019 i think it's going to sell a little bit more than his mixtape that dropped last year but i really do think it's going to probably sell something like 30k and I don't know how he's gonna do it because there's artists that are bigger than him more popular than him that are selling less so they need to get with French and be like hey what's your secret bro because I'm trying I'm trying to get these huge numbers too but um either way uh that's what I think it's gonna do guys uh probably around 30k um we'll see at the end of the week but uh please subscribe if you haven't give me a like let me know in the comments what you think he's gonna sell in the first week um with they got amnesia and I'll talk to you guys later